Welcome back, this is Dr. Jin Sung, and today we're gonna to talk about iodine. How does iodine affect Hashimoto's thyroiditis? Is it good for you or is it bad for you? It really depends, right? However, with autoimmune thyroid or Hashimoto's thyroiditis, I am firmly on the side of not taking in excessive amounts of iodine. What does that mean? Taking multis that have iodine, um, or iodine um, supplementation directly uh, to improve thyroid function. If you have Hashimoto's thyroiditis, my, my uh, stance on it is that you should stay away from iodine supplementation. If it's in food, it can be okay, right? Seafood and those types of things. But in terms of extra intake, uh, and if you have Hashimoto's thyroiditis, I oppose, okay? So my rationale is this. So iodine, so there's many journals uh, stating this, but I'm gonna quote one. The Journal of Current Genomics, 2011. What does it say? It says that excessive iodine intake is a well-established environmental factor for triggering thyroid autoimmunity, right? It basically says excessive thyroid can trigger autoimmunity. So if you have Hashimoto's thyroiditis, why would you want to take excessive iodine or more iodine than typically is normal? But patients don't realize you only need a very small amount of iodine for, uh, to improve thyroid function, right? Or have the necessary ingredient to make thyroid hormone. So you don't need this excessive amounts of thyroid uh, or excessive amounts of iodine uh, in our diet to do that. So let's look at this. If you take excessive iodine from Maltese or uh, just iodine supplementation because you think it's good for thyroid, it impacts the thyroid, right? But let's say you have the autoimmune version. You have the autoimmune version of the thyroid problem, right? Or hypothyroid. So when you have an autoimmune disease, it basically has a lot of oxidative stress. And then your TPO, thyroglobulin, and thyrocytes, they're, they're going to be attacked or destruct, uh, destroyed. So that causes excessive stress to the thyroid. And when you take iodine, iodine promotes further oxidation and more inflammation to the thyroid. It basically creates more oxidative stress and destruction of thyroid tissue or thyrocytes, right? Or follicular cells of the thyroid. What does it do? It reduces the ability to make thyroid hormone over time because you're destroying, uh, you're destroying the thyroid gland. As over time, basically the destruction of follicular cells, you're gonna produce less hormone. Therefore, you will need thyroid replacement. Sometimes it, this can take um, a year, sometimes it can take 10 years of destruction before you need thyroid hormones. But essentially what this does is, when you take iodine and you have destruction of follicular cells, right? You have an increased release of thyroid hormone. Why? Because when the cells um, get destroyed, you're releasing thyroid hormone. So if you have hypothyroid or underfunctioning thyroid um, with the marker lab uh, TSH elevated, so your TSH is elevated, you take, thyroid, uh, you take iodine, and iodine destroys your thyroid, releases thyroid hormone. So in the case of high TSH, if you're a patient who has high TSH and you took iodine and you felt better, right? You felt better. It's not necessarily that the iodine helped you. It's likely that the iodine create more, created more oxidative stress to the thyroid, released more hormones, and you felt better temporarily, right, in the short run, because you're actually getting destruction of thyroid cells and you're um, getting more uh, thyroid hormones like T4 and T3 into your system, and your TSH will start to go down, and you may feel better temporarily. But if you continue this process, what happens is you're going to reduce the ability to make thyroid hormone because the thyroid tissue is going to be destroyed. Okay? Let's take the other one. Let's say you have autoimmune thyroid 
right? You have TPO and TGB antibodies elevated. And, but your thyroid hormone is normal. TSH is normal. You just have the antibodies to your thyroid, right? Basically, you have silent autoimmunity. Autoimmunity is lurking, but TSH is normal in your lab. But you heard that iodine is good for you, right? So you go ahead and you buy some iodine and you start taking it. And it starts to destroy your thyroid, causing oxidative stress, inflammation, right? Destruction. And then it releases thyroid hormone into your system. What happens with this patient who has normal TSH? They will start to feel like they're hyperthyroid, like they're agitated. They might increase their uh, sweating. Uh, they might not sleep well. They feel anxious, right? So when this person who has normal TSH takes iodine, but they have the autoimmune version, autoimmune uh, autoimmunity lurking underneath, this person will feel worse, right? So that's why some people will say, yeah, I took iodine, I felt better. And then some people will say, I took iodine, I felt worse. It's really this mechanism, right? When you have release of thyroid hormone, depending on the state of your autoimmunity and the, the state of your TSH or thyroid function, you may feel better or worse. But at the end of the day, what you're doing is making it worse over time in both scenarios, right? So my stance is if you have autoimmune thyroiditis, do not take excessive iodine. Actually, in the literature, there is some things coming out now. It's relatively new. It's taking people who have autoimmune thyroid, who haven't responded to different dietary regimens and nutrients and, su uh, and supplementation, and, and lifestyle is to take them and then put them in a complete iodine free diet right including all supplementation and minimizing any iodine from foods right it's a novel idea but for some patients it can change their life around so this is a very important topic iodine yes or no for certain conditions iodine can be quite beneficial However, with autoimmune thyroid or Hashimoto's thyroiditis, I would uh, recommend against it. Okay, my name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. We'll see you guys next week on the healthy side.